Hello. Um, just make sure I've actually got this the right way round. <laughs> right, uh, hey, there we go. It's a good start. So, hello. As Anne-Marie says, my name's Sharon. Um, I work with CX Partners, with the lovely ladies that you've already met. Um, we do have men there as well, but they just didn't turn up to this evening, so I just thought I'd mention that. Um, the question about, are you ready to mentor? Um, I don't know. I'm going to do a quick hands up. Who acted as a mentor in this recently? Ah, brilliant. So we've got a few people who haven't, which is great. Um, so I'm going to start off with what is mentoring? And because there's a bit of a theme here, my background before UX was actually content design. It would have been known as web editing when I started out because I am that old. But anyway, I looked at the dictionary and the first thing that came up was the act or process of helping and giving advice to a younger or less experienced person, especially in a job or at school. It's a great definition and I think it's what we would class as probably a traditional uh, definition of mentoring. I wasn't particularly happy with that, so I looked again. Um, and the National Careers Service came up with this uh, definition, which is having a role model to support, advise, and guide you. And it can help you aim high and achieve your full potential. I like that a little bit more. What I really liked was this one, though. Um, I couldn't find a single source of truth to kind of uh, refer this to, but a mutually beneficial partnership. And to me, that's what mentoring is about. I think it works really well um, for the mentee and the mentor. So who can mentor? And really, is anyone with experience? Um, I did do a search on our icons library for experience, and I loved this because it was really vague. It didn't mean anything. <laughs> and I just think that sums it up, because actually experience to everyone means different things, isn't it? We all have different experiences. Um, and mentoring really enables us to share these to help others develop. And that's the crux of it, to my mind. So what qualities are needed to mentor? There's a lovely list here. Um, I won't read through all of them. You can do that yourselves. But I think what's really important here is that actually most of us are looking for a UX role job description or an advert, we'd probably see a lot of these qualities in there. We are in the right industry, really, to be mentors. You know, this, the love of learning, the positivity, these are all great things that we bring in our daily jobs. Um, respect, empathy, creativity, they're all the qualities that we'd want to see in a good UXer. It comes down to what's the cost of mentoring? Well, it's really committing to regular time with your mentee. So for this program, we were asked to commit to one hour per month. I'd really hope that Scarlett had been here before, so you could have heard from her experience, but um, unfortunately, she's not here tonight. So she and I decided that we would want to split that. So we decided to do half an hour every two weeks. It was a quick call on Google Meet. It was a really you know, lovely time. Um, I think we've both learned a lot from it. And actually, half an hour chat every fortnight is something that's really easy to maintain, I think, and sustainable for most people. Um, if it is too much, then actually you can reduce that. It's, you know, it's about being benefit uh, mutually beneficial, as we say. So why become a mentor? Well, it's a chance for everyone to grow, and I think that's really significant. And then from a mentor's perspective, it helps you understand how much you know and your own expertise. Um, Carl touched on the imposter syndrome earlier, and I think if I asked who feels, you know, it feels like they've suffered that at some point, everybody's hand would be up in the air. And I think it's really key to have these sort of points where you go, do you know what? I do know what I'm talking about. And actually, being a mentor is a really good opportunity for people to kind of go, you know your stuff, I want to learn from you. And that's a really good check, validation of your own expertise. You get to meet fantastic people. Isn't that what it's all about? You know, we're human-centered design people. That's what it's all about. And this is really important as well. It makes our community better for everyone um, as we all learn from each other. Coming back to that point about experience, there may be things that others have experienced that I don't know much about. And I would really love that relationship with them in the mentorship to be able to understand that further. Um, yeah, so the final slide. Are you ready to mentor? Well, hopefully. It's really cheesy, so I hope so. But yes. <laughs> Thank you.